homeschooling with babies and toddlers? Believe it or not, yes, you can. Say hi! <laughs> Welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be talking about homeschooling with babies and toddlers at home. I want to thank Vanny from Mrs. Mom's Homeschool for hosting this collaboration and um, I will put a link to the playlist in the description box. Make sure you check out the rest of the great videos in this one and um, check out the rest of the other great videos that we have been doing uh, with enough of the, all the rest of these great homeschool moms, um, there's a wealth of information. So without further ado, let me please introduce you to my toddler, Archer. He is almost three. He'll be three in October. And he has a genetic, rare genetic condition, which makes him very, very super small. And he does have some developmental, um, delays, some global delays, but for the most part, he's pretty great and uh, we like him. And um, he does make some days difficult, but not too horribly difficult. So um, he was born at the beginning of the, when Abby was three and she was starting preschool. And although we knew we wanted to homeschool, um, so we could get some bonding and whatnot and a routine going, we decided we were going to go ahead and send her to public preschool. And it did not work out all so well. Mm -hmm. Do you want down? Yeah, I see her. And uh, so we went ahead and we brought her home. And he was so, so small and incredibly needy. So we started preschool, homeschooling preschool here at home. And I will have to say that um, my lifesaver at that point in time was baby wearing. Um, I had slings and I had the soft structured carriers and I spent a lot of time in the dining room and the kitchen. So our swing was also here in the kitchen. And we went ahead and I just always made sure that he was fed and all of his needs were met. So um, fed and changed and warm or snuggled. And if he was napping and babies and infants t tend to nap a lot. So baby wearing was great. He would just sleep on me or we could put him down in his swing and we could get our our stuff done. Um, preschool does not take long. It's mostly playing anyways. Um, I'm a big advocate for playing through or learning through play. So that is what we did. Um, what do you say? Mm -hmm. Um, but then as he got bigger and mobile and vocal, um, the baby wearing didn't work out so well. Um, the swing didn't work out so well. We did try to do school while he was napping, but it kind of got to the point where he, we had to do it while he was with us anyways. So we, um, it started including him on everything that we did. And one of the things that I have is this is the curriculum that we use. It's from um, the Gentle and Classical Preschool um, from Life Abundant, the Life Abundant blog. And um, we put everything in these great little menu binder things and dry erase markers and everything dries up, like wipes off super easy. So Abby got one and Archer got one and he got his dry erase marker and he could just follow along. If not, I had puzzles and um, little music shakers and just lots of art stuff for him to keep himself busy at the table. Building blocks, his trucks, he's really into trucks and cars 
and we had all I just I brought all of those things um the other one of the other really great things that um you can use for toddlers is sensory bins sensory bins are amazing if you want to do water put a towel down on the floor give them some measuring cups you can color the water um I will probably do a video on sensory bins here pretty soon um especially with his delays we use a lot of sensory bins um i tend to dye my own rice um we use corn we use beans for our garden units um sensory bins are great so tweezers measuring cups all sorts of things just put a blanket or a towel down on the floor or a table if you have a sensory table that's awesome um some of those little bins from walmart or the dollar store work great to keep costs down and you have a sensory bin and it will keep them entertained for some time um the other thing is um lots of outdoor time i would say if you can do any of your schooling outdoors you're going to have a lot easier of a time keeping your toddler entertained Go play. Okay. And um, so then moving on to preschool, if you have a preschooler in the house, like I am going to have Abby starting kindergarten um, and he will be starting preschool. So Abby is going to move on to the kindergarten binder and Archer will go ahead and he will officially start doing real work in his preschool morning binder. And he really, really enjoys tea time, too. And so we um, will make snacks. Snacks! I forgot snacks. Snacks are super important. Um, we try to keep everything pretty healthy over here. and um, But, you know, we still, have, we still have fun. And so we'll, on Sunday, we'll make a big batch of cookies or Rice Krispie okay. treats. Okay. Or we will do um, Chex Mix, um, cut up fruit. We'll make yo a big batch of yogurt or Greek yogurt and um, keep berries on hand. And we'll have those to help break up the monotony during the day. Um, we use those for our Wonder Teal Treat Time, which is um, poetry tea time. And then we usually do a field trip, a fun Friday kind of thing so we'll pack up the rest of those yeah and um do those on fridays so yeah snacks are super important too to help break up the monotony and keep everybody fueled up so they're not hangry because hangry toddlers and preschoolers and students are absolutely no fun um so basically i guess my one rundown would baby wearing, pack and plays, lots of outdoor time, good snacks to keep them fueled. Include them in on what you're doing. Learning is such a process. Um, and Archer even loves to be part of like our chores. He has his own chores and he helps take care of the animals and he helps make beds. And it's really great because he knows what he's doing. And even at three, it's part of his day and it having that routine makes everything help yes you like to help um help um having that routine helps keep everybody together and um moving on the right track so um don't be fearful about having little ones at home and trying to homeschool the best part of it is um, someone once told me that um, children learning to get along with their siblings is one of the greatest ways to prepare them for life to get along with other people. Because if you can get along with your family, you can get along with anybody. And these routines and schooling together, there's no better way than to have your kids build a wonderful family relationship and a wonderful family culture. So I am going to go ahead and get our homeschool day started. 
with this little guy and you guys have a great day if you have any questions go ahead and put them in the comment section or if there's anything else you would like to see me cover a little bit more of, um, feel free to leave it in there and I will get them answered the best I can have a good day see you next time bye. say bye